Yes lads and welcome back to this Letico Madrid rebuild. As you can see right there, Griezmann injury worries fans. He is out for two, I mean for four months. So the rest of this season, Antoine Griezmann no longer plays for this club. So that's the Champions League, the Cup, well the, funny enough the league as well. So Griezmann might as well no longer play for this club for the rest of the season because he is criminally injured. Either way, we have to finish February. We've got Salta Vigo, Napoli, Villarreal, who are third, I'm pretty sure, and we are fourth or fifth by now. Real Madrid might have won a game. But either way, we play Salta Vigo, Napoli at home, Villarreal and, and Real Batiste, who we actually beat 10-1 in the cup, funny enough. But we won't win 10-1 in the league because I'm not playing it. And this is the start on 11 against uh, Salta Vigo in the league. As we do have Napoli, I'm going to be playing some players that don't normally get game time, like Hermoso. Like Lamar, because he probably won't be playing against Napoli. But it all depends. If someone gets injured, then I might honestly just shed a tear. Or if we lose, I might shed a tear. We oh my god. Oh, no, oh. Losing wasn't even in the mind. We got DePaul, Carrasco, Carrasco, and Correa. It's nice to see Correa getting a goal. Because he kind of has to. Because he's in for Griezmann. And here we are. Obviously, at the Estadio Metropolitano. Napoli. They come here. Kim Min Jae. They've got Kevin Volland. They've got uh, Zambo and Grisa. I think that's his name. They've also got Kovacskalia, obviously. They've got Poliatano. Who's the actual goal? Oh, uh, Merit. I think they've got Merit in this game. I I don't know. But either way, their team's a bit sh sh shoddy. Apart from that, they do have Araujo. But we'll get into the team sheets when the team sheets are here because I can't exactly remember what the team looks like. And this is how we line up for this game. We've got Old Black, Di Lorenzo against his old club, Upa Meccano, Jimenez, Ryan Lindo, Lamar, Lorente, De Paul, Depay, Carrasco, and obviously, and how Correa up top. Find out right now. They've got Merritt, they've got Chao Henrique, they've got Kim Min Jae. Okay, here's, here's the subs bench, because I care about that. But Kim Min Jae, Araujo, Chao Henrique, Kufal, Zambo and Guisa, Almas, Hoiberg, Kovac, Scalia, Poliatano. And Kevin Volland up top. So really, not that hard of a team to... Oh, no, well, not that hard. I mean, not that good of a team. This team could be the hardest team I ever play in my life. That's not a good start. Not a good start. I'll get... No, do not let Zambo Grease sh It's It's 1-0 already. Oh, I've just, I've just kicked off. Upa Meccano, he's, he's stepped up, you know. I need some other players to step up. Kind of like, oh, DePaul. Get that flag down. Get in the box. It's a sweaty, but I do not care. Yannick Carrasco. Only the type of goals he can score are open goal sweaties. But, wait, what? Car <laughs> okay, Carrasco's coming off. So, no, why is that not so fucking low? That's the game, I'm not blaming. Oh, what a tackle. Get up! Yeah, you've not done much. Oh, Barrios. Saul, back to Barrios. Barrios, five star, five star. The young man does it. 80th minute. Come on. I don't know how old he is, but I think he's like 18 or 17. Scoring probably a, a winning Champions League goal in the round of 16 in the first leg. Barrios and Saul, the two subs working perfectly together. That's where the five star, five star makes up. Five star weak foot, five star skill moves. Yes! Oh, I'm pumped now. I'm pumped to go score a third. I'm so pumped. Oh, Condogbia. Di Lorenzo against his old club. Di Lorenzo against his old club. It's 3 1. And you know what? We celebrate. There is no respect in this household. Di Lorenzo makes it 3 1 against his old. Club, come on! I don't know what let's go in Italy is. Italian. <laughs> uh, let's go. Could you take him down if need be. There is no need be. We win the first leg three, two, three, two. Thanks to late goals by the five star, five star young star, Mikel Barrios, and a very, very late goal from Giovanni Di. Lorenzo. Let's go. Come on. Beautiful game. Beautiful team. This is what football is about. 
And next game we play is Villarreal. And as you can see, they're on 48 points and we are on 46. If we beat them, we go up to second. Who's first? Who is first? Is it Sofia? It's still a nine point gap. Jesus Christ. And this is the start on 11 for this game against Villarreal. As you can see, half of my team are dead. I had to take Carrera off and Ryan Lindo because they I, they might have died if they played this game. And we lose. After that exciting game in the Champions League, we are back down to earth with a 1-0 loss away to Villarreal. And that loss also makes us out of the top four. That puts us out of the top four. That's pretty depressing, to be honest, but it was going to happen especially when Real Madrid at the team behind you. But either way, this is the starting 11 against Real Betis. It's our best one. All Black, Di Lorenzo, Upamecano, Jimenez, Rylindo, Lamar, Lorente, Depoul. Oh, well, it's our best minus Griezmann. Depay, Carrasco, and obviously Angel Correa, who needs to step up and do something. And it's 2-2. We, we, we keep dropping points. Carrasco missed the penalty. Why is he taking penalties? We keep dropping points and that's just not what we need in a, in a, well, in anything really. But that will do it for this episode. What a crazy month. 1-2-0, draw 2-2, lost 2-1 in the cup. Won in the UCL, then lost in the league and then drew in the league. The league is just not our hunting ground. But either way, next episode, we play Cadiz and Oshuan. I'm going to save Napoli, Villarreal, uh, Valencia, I mean. And then Cadiz again for the episode after. Because we need to beat Cadiz in the cup. Because we lost 2-1 to them in the first leg. But I will see you all next time. When we get into one of the biggest games of the season. The semi-final of the Copa de España. I'll see you all next time.